My demonstration is about the jigsaw pitching strategy. Jigsaw pitching strategy is a strategy, a cooperative learning strategy in mathematics. There are six steps in the jigsaw pitching strategy. In step number one, divide students into four to six groups. So in my demonstration, there are five groups. We have group number one, group number two, group number three, group number four, and group number five. So in each of the group, for group one, there is a corresponding number of the student. So group one, number one student, group one, number two student, group one, number three student, group four, number four student, and group one, number five student. The same with the other groups. So as you can see, in group number two, the students have their own numbers. So for have student number one, this is group number two of student number one, student number two, and student number three, student number four, and student number five. The same with group three, group four, and group five. Oh. Step number two, divide your content into four to six chunks. So in my demonstration, I am talking about the mathematical logical operators. So we have five chunks. We have negation, chunk number one, content number one, and content number two is conjunction. Content number three is disjunction. Chunk number four or content number four is conditional. And the fifth chunk or the content is biconditional. Step number three, assign one chunk of content to each person in the jigsaw group. Based on the step number three, so each of the content, so for example, for negation, the student number one will be having the assignment about the negation. And for the conjunction, student number two, it is expected that he or she is going to research about the topic conjunction prior to the lesson or the discussion. And another assignment given for the last time about student number three is all about this junction. Then student number four is about conditional and student number five is all about biconditional. The same with group number two, number three, number four, and number five. They have their corresponding assignment all about the mathematical logical operators. Step number four, have students meet in expert groups. So for step number four, the expert of the particular topic, so for red, we have negation. So all red color, they are going to proceed to the negation because they are experts on that particular topic. And remember that these topics were already assigned by the different students. So for the negation, the student which has the color red for number one, group one, number one student, he is going to proceed with the topic negation. The same with group number two, the student will proceed to the topic negation to have an expert group. Group number three, the student number one will proceed to the negation. Group four, number one student will proceed and group five will proceed to the negation. The same with the topic about conjunction. So for the conjunction, the color orange, they are going to proceed, the number two student of the different groups will proceed to the conjunction. So student number two will proceed to the conjunction for group two, proceed to the conjunction. Group three, proceed to the conjunction. And group number four also for the number two, and group five for number two. Next, we have the topic or the expert on this junction are the students who have the number three in the respective group. So we have four groups. So we have this junction, we have group number one, the third student, group two for number three student, then group four, we have number three student, the same with group three, then group five. So they have the third student. Then let's now proceed to conditional. So we have yellow color. So the expert of this, of course, we have number four student in the respective groups. For group one, we have number four student. Group two, number four student. Group three, the number four student. And group four, the number four student. And group five, the number four student. Okay, then the last topic for the expert group is the biconditional. So they are going to proceed the color green. Group one, we have student number five. Group two, student number five. Group three, student number five. Group four, student number five. And group five, student number five. So they are going to meet in the expert groups. <laughs> Step number five, students return to jigsaw group. 
after the expert groups discussing about the different contents about the negation, the conjunction, the disjunction, the conditional and biconditional, so they are going to return to the jigsaw groups, their original group. So we have for group one, student number one will return to group one. For group one, student number two will return to group one. For student number three, for group one will return to group one. We have group one, number four student, and group one, number five student. So the same with the other groups. For group number two, student number one will return to the jigsaw group. Student number two, for group two, will return to the jigsaw group. We have for number three, will return. Number four, will also return to the original group. And the number five, for group, group number two, will return to the original group. The same with group number three. So for number three, student number one will return to the original group. Student number two for group three will return to the original group. Student number three for the group three will return to the original group. We have group number three for student number four and group number three, student number five. The same with group four. So for group four, so student number one will return to the original group. Then we have number two, then number three for group four. The number four for group four and number five for group number four. And the last group or the jigsaw group, we have student number one, we have, they are going to go back to the original group. We have student number two, number three, number four, and number five. So again, the step number five, students return to the jigsaw groups. Step number six, assess all students in all the content. So based on our jigsaw activity, so the original groups will discuss about the different topics. So we have for student number one, he or she is going to discuss about the negation. And the rest of the four members, they are going to take down notes or they have to take notes all the topic about negation. Then for student number two, he or she is going to discuss about conjunction. The rest of the members will listen and take down the topic about conjunction. Then group number one for student number three, that is junction, he or she is going to discuss about this junction. The same with number four student about conditional, and number five is about biconditional. So the rest of the members will listen about biconditional. For group number two, the same. The first student will discuss about the negation, and the four members will listen and take down notes about negation. Then for the conjunction, number two student, then for the disjunction, we'll discuss about uh, the number three student will discuss about disjunction and conditional for the number four student and biconditional for the fifth student. So the rest of the groups, they also do about the, the same uh, activity about the jigsaw technique. After discussing about the topics on mathematical logical operators, the students, they are going to produce or they are going to present the grouping activity. And after that, they present on the board about the topic or they are going to report the respective ideas and sharing of ideas about logical operators.